The next wave of global growth will not be a simple replica of the past 25 years. Instead, it will require major innovation in business models and technology. Industry will have to, or rather will need to develop a sustained focus on key megatrends such as increasing food supplies, water availability and life expectancy whilst reducing our carbon footprint. That's the view of Paul Hodges. He's the author of Boom, Gloom and the New Normal. Uh, how Western baby boomers are changing global chemicals demand patterns again now he is joining us in the studio mr. Hodges thank you so much a very interesting title there and of course it is an ebook if the baby boomers are no longer the big drivers of growth uh, who are the next big drivers the drivers of growth are going to be two sets of people now uh, of the work that we've done in our research the first is going to be here in Africa and in the emerging economies the people who have moved out of poverty for the first time so instead of being below two dollars a day if you take Africa for example 600 million still below uh, two dollars a day there are 300 million however who now earn between two and ten dollars a day so they've jumped into the market for the first time they're a really big number mm -hmm. and the same is true across Asia the other big one which is also to be celebrated is the new old in the Western world this new generation completely new of people who are over 55 because of increased life expectancy mm -hmm. and so these two groups will be the focus of growth in the future but it will be quite different from the last 25 years how will it be different well if you go back to 1983 uh, you find that in 1983, the average baby boomer who was born between 1946 and 1970 in the West became 25 years old. And 25 to 54 is the age when people tend to settle down, have children, and they buy an awful lot of new things. You know, and you can't postpone it. You know, I remember when my wife came back from the doctor and she told me, darling, I'm pregnant. You don't sit around for a few months. You get going mm -hmm. and you do things. Now, of course, all of that generation, the largest and wealthiest generation that we've ever seen, is now moving into 55. And that's the significance of the 1st of January next year. Mm -hmm. The average boomer will become 55. Mm -hmm. And there you go to replacement economy, where my wife this time says, oh, look, darling, I'd like a new sofa. And I say, well, maybe, darling, but maybe not. And, and in the end, she buys it, of course. But at the time, we have a debate because it's replacement. Mm -hmm. So we don't know much about the new old, 55 plus because 100 years ago they simply didn't exist mm -hmm. anywhere in the world this is a tremendous achievement but what we do know is it's going to be lower growth but also it takes growth in a different pattern mm -hmm. and therefore if you like what we're seeing is one of these major paradigm shifts something to be you know i will happily trade off an extra 15 years of life if I've got you know, that to go forward to. Very interesting trends there. Mr. Hodges, thank you so much for your time. That was Paul Hodges, the author of Boom, Gloom and the New Normal, um, how Western baby boomers are changing global demand um, patterns.